then that means that it's only four more days till I get my license. We take the car to the fixer. On the way there, I'm following Mike. Realized that the back right brake is out too. We're going over to Nana's for dinner. Which is great news because she's <laughs> such a good cook. <laughs> Uncle Chris has arrived. And Aunt Sid. Hi, Aunt Sid. And Uncle Mike. There he is. Hi, Chris. <laughs> All right, so I still don't have my license, as you guys saw. So my mom's taking me to school as a senior. So this is pretty sick. Um, you hold that because I'm. But uh, it's okay because I love my mom, and uh, we're, I love you, Ryan. We're almost there, so it's gonna be a fun day. It's Friday, and that means that it's only four more days till I get my license. Because you, well, I'll tell you, but you made another appointment. I made another. Appointment. So this is the thing though, that we've run into um, a little bit of a glitch with the appointment. So I'll make a long story short. Mike's going, leaving. He's got to go to work um, up north. So he's taking the car to the airport, which is like an hour away. And his car, which is the car that Ryan was going to do his driver's appointment that he car. tested. So he was going to use, instead he was going to use my bug. Well, my bug, <laughs> um, it has, it's a convertible, and I was shopping the other day. I went to the store, to Target, and with the top down, because it's beautiful in Florida, <laughs> and I went to put the top up, and nothing. Like, it didn't button nothing. It's electric, no budge whatsoever. I was like, uh-oh. So I leave the top down, I go into Target, I come back out. When I'm driving back into the neighborhood, oh, because the top was down, I took the, um, the garage door opener off of my visor, because I didn't want it sitting out there with somebody taking my garage door opener. And, and the gate opener. So when I drove back in, I had the garage door opener and the gate opener down here. So I pull into my neighborhood. I look down to get the gate opener and I run into a curb. So I pop my tire. So now my, my top is broken. My tire is broken. So we take the car to the fixer. On the way there, I'm following Mike, whoa. And we realized that, I realized that the back right brake is out too. Well, Ryan can't take a driver's test if the brake light's out. They just don't let you do that. So we took it to get fixed yesterday. They said they couldn't fix the top. They fixed the tire. I'm not sure about the brake light. So it's a little bit hairy whether Ryan's gonna be able to use that car or not for the test. Plus the fact you signed up with this car. So it's a little. I need to get it though. So we're gonna figure it out. We're gonna figure it out. So I think I might end up driving Mike all the way to Tampa. Yep. So that'll be fun. Okay. Anyway. In the meantime, my family's coming to visit. My Uncle Chris, Uncle Mike, yeah, Lauren, Alex, that'll be here today, So you'll get to see him. Yeah. And uh but yeah. You gotta clean your room. Cherish these moments with your mom because I mean I don't have to because they've lasted a long, long, long time. <laughs> but I'm kidding. Uh but, long time because he didn't get his license. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, uh, but you know, if if you're smart and get it on time, then you know. Have fun hey, with the really? The other thing I want to say to you, really quick, do you want to go visit USF on Monday? Yes. Okay. Can we do that? Yes. Okay. I think that would be good. Okay. I don't think that means you'll leave school. I think it means maybe oh. I'll maybe like well, I'll pick I you. Well, I don't like that. Like at seven. Okay. So I don't know if we can get up there and get back. We might be able to. I think I'm gonna have to miss school. A okay, day. maybe a little bit. Like the whole day. Ah, uh, not the whole day. I, I, have a, I have a meeting at eleven. The whole day. School. Eleven to like let's say twelve thirty, and then I can pick you up. Perfect. But that means two days in a row you'd miss the second half of school. <laughs> it's okay. All right. I'll, I'll I'll manage. Oh, okay. All right, I'm out and about doing a little bit of shopping, getting ready for my family to come. It's not even that I want to impress my family. It's just that like when those times happen where there's like certain like deadlines is when you really look at your house and you go, oh, I've always wanted to put a something there. Or I think maybe now it's time that we like do our spring planning or whatever. So I just went to Home Depot and I bought some um, little flowers to put out front and I put the cutest little flamingo light thing. I will tell you, I'll show you that. It's like a, like a solar light. 
And then I'm here now at the Ace Hardware and I think I'm gonna get these 24 feet of spray of string LED lights to hang um, out on the one eye because I know Mike wants some lights out there. But you know what though? Shoot, he really wanted like shells or something. I don't know. I'm gonna get these and if we wanna return them, we can. When we lived in Louisville, Kentucky, Mike and I, we had on our balcony, we had little chili pepper lights and he loved those because um, they were just fun. Chili peppers really wouldn't go with our decor, so um, we talked about shells or anchors. It might take us a while to get that, but in the meantime, maybe we'll do these because we love having lights out there. Okay, so Mike's reaction on the lights, because he said he wanted some type of shell or anchor. What do you think? Do you like the lights? Mm. He said, do they change color? Well, no, they're just white. They did have changey color ones, but they were $89. Yeah, I didn't want to do that. So what do Personality to them, though. Well, do you want to? I mean, do you want like a Maybe cartoon out there? Out there, I mean, there are no chili pepper lights, that's for sure. <laughs> everybody about the chili peppers okay so do you want me to look online and see if i can get some Maybe like a shell thing or an anchor uh, yeah you know. although those would do i guess i think well this is the thing i fear that if we get shells or anchors they're going to be bad quality that's oh. what i fear really? yeah do you have to have good quality well yeah you don't you want them to stay on and you don't want them to break the worst thing is to have lights up there and like two of them like go off and you can't figure out why. Oh, right. Do you know what I'm saying? Yes, it's like a bad show. History. Yes, exactly. All right, let me see what I can do. All right, I was too lazy to actually plant them. So I just put them in there. This is Mike's um, Jasmine. He planted Jasmine because he loves the way it smells. He planted it from a little, little baby and it's actually growing pretty well. I'm not sure when it's gonna bloom and smell good but I just sort of placed those in there for now. And I don't think that my brother's gonna mind. <laughs> Hopefully he won't look too closely. Anyway, I just want it to be nice and um, festive when he gets here. So also I put the lights up. We've got the music going on. We play 1980s videos at our house like all the time. And um, we just had Janet, Janet Jackson and right before that was Jeremy, some of my favorite music ever. But you can sort of see right here, there's the lights. But this is gonna go up. The only reason this is down right now is because the sun is shining so brightly in. But when this goes up, there are the lights. And maybe I'll show it to you tonight if I can remember it. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. I think it worked out well. Okay, everybody's ready to go. We're going over to Nana's for dinner. Which is great news, because she's <laughs> such a good cook. That's, that's the greatest sentence you can hear. We're going to Nana's for dinner? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not bashing any of your cooking. It's okay. <laughs> I don't mind. But I learned from her. Man, Nan is a whole other level. She's, yeah, she's got some good cooking going on. You excited, Mike? He's got your popcorn? <laughs> you know the name which we sell, Jelly. Yes, it is. Everybody, we've had a good day so far. It's a good Friday. I feel accomplished. Do you feel accomplished, Ryan? Fantastic. You, Michael? Uh -huh. Great. We're getting set for a big week. We have a very, all of us have a big week next week, which will be very exciting. Stay right. tuned to find out. Yes, yeah, so we got big milestones happening. Ryan, um, I like that shirt. Thank you. It's from your friend, Zach. Shout out, Zach. Yes. Um, yeah. Yeah. yeah, very good. All right. Um, here we go. We're business casual today because I got these and then cargo pants and then the slivvies. <laughs> Perfect. So, you know, it kind of gets less cold uh, <laughs> as you go down. Okay. But you know, this slippers. shot, this shot good. That's good, yes. Yeah, anyway. So Uncle Tom sent in our family group chat, uh, we have a family group chat with all of us, that today is Roger Daltrey's 80th birthday. And he sent a picture of Roger Daltrey he's that looks- He's a singer from like the 80s. And this is the picture. He said the who? He's from the easily lead and, singer of the who. Uh, he said, uh, it's Roger Daltrey's 80th birthday, but all I have is this picture of Ryan Donnelly to show you what Roger looks like. Get it? Because my hair. <laughs> anyway. So Uncle Tom is a huge fan of The Who, which is Roger Daltrey's uh, band, and thinks that that looks like Ryan. So it's very funny. So I guess I don't need to insert it. You took care of it for me. <laughs> but you are bringing your senior picture. Yep. Excellent. We'll see where it's going to go on the wall. <laughs> All right, so they're talking about the senior photos. Yeah, so that's yeah. what Lauren was talking about. That's where the senior photos go. 
Nana, let's see your senior picture. Look at how sweet. That's Nana. <laughs> this is Nana's picture wall. I don't know if I've ever shown it to you before, but we stand in here and stare. There's so many great memories in here. So there's the, there are the cousins, but Laura and Ashley aren't in there. I don't know why. As far as they know, me and you are not a part of You do not exist. But look at there's Lauren and Alex on our wedding day. And there's Ashley. And look, yes. this is the last Christmas card we sent. I know. Look at that. We're out of date. Um, We've sent them since then. Please tell me we have. Yeah, I, I don't know. So Maybe not. not. Maybe we not. All right. We need, oh, look at Mom updated that one. That's good. She updated that one. All right. I, we need to. We'll just give her a picture of us from that day, from when we were at the beach. Yeah. He's just gonna take and off the You can't do that. Oh, wow. So Pat's been doing the puzzle. This is us at the beach. If you guys, well, you know, you know these pictures. Oh, my gosh. There's a few puzzle pieces with my face on it. This is my, yes, fa this is my favorite are. piece right there. <laughs> Dad, that looks great. Now, are you going to cut it? Are you going to cut it? Yeah. He's... This is way, like, all of this is the same. It's like the sky blue. So he's just going to actually cut it at the back of the ocean and then do a nice long frame. Is it glued on there? Took me, took me four or five days to do this whole thing. And it took me two weeks to do no. these. Are you so serious? I said, yeah. I, said, I mean, that white stuff is tough. Right? Yeah, yeah. It's all the same color. It's just, yeah, it's crazy. Pick and choose and I said, no, never mind. Well, I think it's going to look great. Like a nice long picture like the one that's over there. Yeah. That's awesome. Nice work. And look at, there's a blanket. You can't get rid of us, Dad. We're everywhere. <laughs> Uncle Chris has arrived. And Aunt Sid. Hi, Aunt Sid. And Uncle Mike, there he is. Hi, Chris. All right, we're fast forwarding till Sunday night. Um, <laughs> the last you saw is when everybody came in from uh, my family, uh, not all my family, but my brothers and my sister-in-law and my niece and her husband. So we had such a great, great weekend together. Um, please forgive me for not filming. We just spent time with each other and not filming. But right now it is Sunday and Ryan is getting ready. What are you doing, my guy? What's that? Oh, making cookies. Because? Because our good friend is going to be giving us a tour tomorrow of the University of South Florida. And as a thank you, uh, we're just going to give him cookies. Because it's better than like money or like a gift card. I think it's more thoughtful. Made so with hopefully love. hopefully she likes chocolate chip cookies. She does. And you want to tell me why we're going to the University of South Florida tomorrow? Because I got accepted there. Yay! And so if I want to continue my academic career there, which I think I might want to, I want to go take a look at the place. Excellent. So it's going to be fun. So he's missing school tomorrow, which apparently is an excuse absence um, because he wants to be able to see the campus when there are students there and acting like a normal college campus. So we're very excited. Stay tuned for tomorrow's video because we are going to vlog the whole day um, going up there and show you what the college looks like. Katie did um, tour it before she went to school because she was considering going there as well. So we'll link at the end of this video, we'll link the video tour of Katie at USF. And you can see um, when you watch Ryan's video to see if it, we did the same things. So you'll see the same person, Mara, who's going to be our uh, so was flight attendant. Then I would say tour director. She will be giving us the tour of the, um, of the college. So we're very excited about that. Look, I got this little for Valentine's Day. I don't know why it was Valentine's Day where I got this, but mom and dad gave me a cookie scooper. So you just scoop, and it's like an ice cream scooper, and it just like gets the dough out of it. Anyway, it makes perfect circles. Or we it hope. might make perfect circles. Oh, yeah, we're using it. I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm excited. Can you make a couple extra for us? I was going to double the recipe, but uh, I, I think it's that... too late. Oh, all right. Oh, right. Um, Is it doubleable? I think it's doubleable. And if you want me to stay up and finish the rest cooking them, I'm, I'm happy to. Aww. I know. It's just how I am. That'd be nice. Thanks. Michael John. Hello. How are you, my friend? 
I'm busy, busy, busy. Tell us what's going on, Mike. Big week, Jill. Yes? I'm uh, traveling, traveling, traveling. All right, yes. Tomorrow morning we're taking Michael to the airport, and then we're continuing on to the college. So that should be super duper fun. Mm -hmm. Looking forward to doing that. Okay, so this is something that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, one time, <laughs> a few, maybe a few months ago, I guess maybe when Katie was here over the summer, Katie went to the Goodwill and she texted all of us. She's like, does anybody need anything from the Goodwill? And De Mike said, big wine glasses. He is a fan of big wine glasses. You can see over there we have our wine Display, thank you, Ryan, Vanna White. That's a big wine glass. It is a big wine glass. That is a huge wine glass. It's a huge, well, so Katie comes back with um, a couple different very large wine glasses, this being the largest, and um, Mike loves it, so he turned it into the peanut M&M display. Yeah. And I would say, you know what I said to him the other day? What? I said, this is so, it's like an, like it's, it's kitschy kind of, right? This, like, yeah. who has a big... Totally. Wine glass, right? It's kind of like the south version of our leg lamp that we have up north. Very fair. Yeah. Very like sort of like a 1980s kind of decoration kind of thing. So let us guy, let us know, you guys, if you like that. There's a little spoon there so you don't just put your fingers in. You can just scoop up your peanut M&Ms, and it's, um, it's fairly dangerous. I don't mind telling you. As convenient as that makes water is as convenient as that makes peanut M&M's. Uh-oh. Oh, what's oh, what what my hand doing? Oh, no, 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 don't do it, don't do it. Oh, no. Oh, See? Oh, it's almost oh. like it forces you to eat Shoot. them. Oh, shoot. <laughs> All right, we'll see uh, how Ryan's cookies turn out, and we'll maybe we'll video, Ryan, you using your scooper duper to see if that's something. How more of going to work? Yeah. I'm skeptical. Okay. We'll give it a we'll give it a try and we'll we'll let you guys decide. So we're hoping it's a big enough bowl. Because it's just a lot of mix. We decided to double the recipe. Because mom wants some for the house. And it's a lot of mix. <laughs> I'm trying to make sure flour doesn't go everywhere, so I'm mixing in very, very slowly. You're doing a very nice like job. I'm moving it minimally. But, holy cow. We're gonna get it done. Yeah, we'll get it done. We'll get it done. I trust you. Come on. Okay. okay, so the dough's finished. It's a double batch. Oh, that looks so good. It can did fit bite? in the bowl. Yeah, you can have that. Alright, just a little bit. Thank hey, you. with the thingies. No, alright, I won't just, do a thingy. Well, doing... oh, no, I can't do that. Oh my gosh, that is the most beautiful looking cookie dough. Right. I like this. Oh my gosh. Alright, I'm really excited. You should be proud of it. Right, I'm gonna use a baby fork. Okay, here I go. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. This is the best stuff ever. Okay. Anyway, so we're trying to scoop and it works oh. fantastic. Oh, those are beautiful. Like, look at it, right? Look. Oh my gosh, let's do it again. It's fantastic. Woo! Yeah. I mean, like, usually this, this, this takes, it's a process because I have a spoon and a knife. And I portion it. It all spoon. sticks together, it all right? Sticks together, and then I have to. Happy Valentine's Day! Thank you. Mm hmm. You probably didn't think it was that great of a gift, and then now you're like, and "Whoa!" Now I'm. This is the bomb. Thoroughly impressed. Look. Wow. That took no time. Can I have one more bite? Yeah, sure. Thanks. Oh, sorry. Thank you. And now, cookers in the oven. Three seventy-five. Give it ten minutes. Check back later. So, the first. Oh, wow, look at that. This is very out. exciting. We bought a pizza thing one time. Actually, we had <laughs> why did we buy cookie. it? Yeah. Anyway, we're also using that as a cookie sheet. Um, but these. <gasps> oh my gosh. Out. And we're going to let them sit for two minutes. Might not before. Put these in. Also. I can put both these in at one time. Yep. And we'll set the timer. So this is the tricky part, or this is not the trick. This is the secret to a good chocolate chip cookie. What are we doing right you here? You take it out and you let it sit for two minutes because it's still cooking, uh, but not in the heat. It kind of like finishes it. And then uh, they're easy to spatula off because they're not so gooey and everything. And then what do you do with them? Put them on tin foil. Because why? 
I don't know. I forget. <laughs> you just let them cool over there because yeah. then they they cool and they don't get crispy. They stay yeah. nice and chewy. Yeah. What most people I think do as a mistake is they take their cookies out and they leave them on the pan and then people, they just let them cool on the pan and then people eat them off the pan and they become crispy and yucky. So can't don't do, do that. that. No. Can't do that. Mm -mm, can't do that. We're sharing all the secrets today. Yeah. Yeah, is, uh, I, I want I want people to make great chocolate well, chip yeah, cookies. Yeah, well, I need a pen for my cookie bag. Okay, all so. right, but they don't know what in it went in it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yum. Mm -hmm. Okay, so in between the cookies cooking and sitting out on the tray, um, we were over at Inn and Paps, and we had a little chipping competition in the backyard, and I beat Dad. And usually we bet foot rubs or back rubs, but now Dad kind of has his debts paid, because he got a foot massage machine, and so he's just letting me use it because I smoked him in the chipping competition. And that means that these are done sitting. So I'm gonna put these on there, and then set an eight minute timer because they're supposed to cook for 10 minutes, but that was already two. So now timer, eight minute timer. I'll let you guys know when the batch is done. To happen before we can proceed, all right, you guys, we've got the NASA SpaceX. Is that NASA? That is the SpaceX? time that the launch team briefed NASA astronauts. Nice. Very exciting. Mike is very intrigued with the space program. And there's supposed to be a launch tonight so in about a half an hour. So we've got it. Apple plate, or what is it, what's it called? Apple, what's that called, Ryan? When you take the apple and you put it on the TV? Yeah, the Not Chromecast, when you, when you, Airplay, that, oh my gosh, we've got an Airplay up there, and we're gonna say goodnight. Hey, oh, sorry guys, I don't mean to make you dizzy. Oh, close shots, there we go. What made you happy this weekend, Mike? Uh, seeing Lauren and Alex. Wonderful, yes, very good, uh, I agree. What made you happy today, my guy? Or this weekend? Lots, 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 lots. But uh, this entire weekend, mm -hmm. um, yeah, getting to see everyone having great dinners and Ann and Paps yeah, and making these cookies. Fantastic. All right, let's we'll wrap this up. Look at uh, wrap up the cookies, I should say. You end up making how many? Fifty four. 54 cookies. So two dozen are gonna go to our friend Mara. Well, minus the ones we ate. Oh right. Or plus the ones we ate. Anyway. So we probably made 58 cookies. The yeah, 60 maybe. Two dozen, these are going to go to Mara uh, for the tour. Okay. And then these we get to munch on. We get to eat these. So they worked out beautifully. Yep. Anyway. All right. Well, congratulations. Thank you so much. Absolutely. What made me happy this weekend, awesome, was having our family here and just hanging out and just being able to catch up with them. And host, so Chris and Sid and Mike, all my brother Mike, my brother Chris, and my sister Cynthia all stayed here. So that was really fun to host them and have them here. So thank you so much for watching. Comment down below what you guys happy today. And be sure to watch tomorrow's vlog where we go college visiting with Ryan. Bye. <laughs>